discovery of gases and respiration. The term respiration came into existence in 14th century. Generally, respiration is referred as the process involving passage of air and production of body heat. In 18th century, Lavoisier and Priestley discovered the properties of gases, their exchange and respiration. Based on this, we know how the exchange of gases goes on. In earlier classes, you have already studied the Priestley's experiments. Priestley's experiment helped us to find more about composition of air. Lavoisier also performed several experiments to understand the properties of gases. In his earlier experiments, he thought that the gas liberated on heating powdered charcoal in a bell jar kept over water in a trough was like fixed ray. His next series of experiments was based on combustion of phosphorus in a bell jar. From this experiments of heating powdered charcoal, he concluded that the substance which combines with the phosphorus is either air itself or another elastic fluid contained in a certain proportion in the air which we breathe. Lavoisier observed that there was a great difference between the air in which combustion of a metal had been carried out and the air which had served for respiration. He gave logical conclusion for the process of respiration. He concluded that either eminently respirable air gets changed in the lungs to chalky acid air or an exchange takes place. This eminently respirable air is being absorbed and almost an equal volume of chalky acid air being given up to the air from the lung. Lavoisier experiments have given away to several other researchers. Around mid of 19th century, a renowned chemist, John Draper, has written a few lines as the chief materials which a living being receives are matter that can be burnt, water and oxygen gas and out of the action of these upon one another, all the physical phenomena of its life arises. What the body expels out is water, oxide of carbon, phosphorus, sulphur and others. Thus, in the mid of 19th century, we have observed the role of major compounds and elements during the process of respiration. Though the events and steps are not clear regarding respiration, people believed that there was a relation between the heat produced in the body and the process of respiration. Let us now discuss the steps involved in the process of respiration in human beings. The events or steps in respiration. Hover the mouse over the tabs to know more about their process. Let us observe the pathway of air from nostrils to alveolus. Nostrils Generally, the air enters into the body through nostrils. Nasal cavity It removes the dirt present in the air with the help of hay that grows from its sides. It has moist surface. As the inhaled air passes through the nasal cavity, its temperature is brought close to the body's temperature. Nasal cavity collects the water wrapper present in the air, hence it becomes more moist than before. Pharynx 
Pharynx is a part of digestive system and also the respiratory system. The function of pharynx is to warm and moist the air and carry it into the lungs. The human pharynx is usually divided into three sections. They are nasopharynx, epipharynx, oropharynx, mesopharynx, laryngopharynx, hypopharynx. Epiglottis, a flap of muscular valve, controls movement of air and food towards their respective passages. Larynx Larynx is commonly called as voice box. It is an organ present in the neck of animals, reptiles and mammals. The function of larynx is, it helps in breathing and sound production. The voice box contains vocal cords. When air passes from lungs to the vocal cords, it causes them to vibrate and manipulates the pitch and volume based on the speech, songs, etc. Trachea The trachea or windpipe is the tube that connects the pharynx and larynx to the lungs. It allows the passage of air to the lungs. Touch your neck to feel the tube-like structure. Bronchus the lower end of trachea or windpipe is divided into two bronchi leading to each lung. A bronchus is also called as a main or primary bronchus. The function of bronchus is it helps in passage of air in the respiratory tract that carries air into the lungs. Bronchioles The bronchi is further divided into smaller branches called bronchioles. In bronchi, the exchange of gases does not take place. Alveolus Bronchioles finally get terminated in clusters of air sacs called alveolus. An alveolus is an anatomical structure that is in hollow cavity shape. Alveolus are very small and numerous and are found in the lung parenchyma. The exchange of gases takes place here as blood capillaries take in oxygen and push out carbon dioxide. The entire passage of air from nostrils to alveolus is moist and warm. While breathing, the air moves from the nasal cavity to the pharynx. Here is a tricky situation from the pharynx. There are two passageways, one to the lungs and the other to the stomach. This traffic is maintained properly by a flap-like valve called epiglottis which protects the tube to the lungs by arresting entry of food. Observe the pictures and discuss the epiglottis and its functioning while breathing or swallowing. This valve closes temporarily when we swallow food and deflects the food down towards the stomach and maintains it out of the trachea or windpipe which is the route to the lungs. When we breathe air, epiglottis opens more widely and air enters into the lungs. For guiding the function of epiglottis and passage of food and air, nervous regulation is essential.